Hello, we're back. In episode 22, I said we'd be talking about the invader port to the Pico system from Pimeroni, programmed in MicroPython or C++ using the Pico system API. So here's the Pico system homepage on Pimeroni's site. The device is powered by an RP2040, like the Thumbie in our last episode, a microcontroller by Raspberry Pi. The specs are down here. And as I said, it can be programmed in C++ or MicroPython. It also comes with a few games to try out and a lot of tutorials and documentation. This device is made really well from machined aluminum. It's got heft to it and a cool design. Very nice screen as well and the buttons are great. You first have to install MicroPython on the Pico system, but it's as easy as dragging and dropping it on there. First we'll put it in the right mode by holding down the X button and turning it on. Then all we have to do is drag MicroPython onto the system. Now we'll open our code in Thani. And as you can see, the Raspberry Pi shows up down here. Let's make a simple change in here. We'll change the number of starting lives to be 7. And we'll save it. And we'll go ahead and press the play button. And now you can see that it's been uploaded. So here's what it looks like running on the Pico system. I've used the built-in NeoPixel to show when you hit the invader or the invader hits you. To develop for the Pico system in C++, it's a little more involved. I couldn't get it to compile on my Raspberry Pi running the Twister OS, the one that looks like the Mac desktop, I think it's missing some support files, so I have to boot it into another Linux Pi installation in order to get this to work. You can see it here. So here's what the code looks like in Genie, the editor I used for the C++ version of Invader on the Pi. And now we have to compile it in a terminal window, then drag the UF2 file over to run it on the Pico station. It looks pretty much exactly the same as the MicroPython version. On the device. We'll go ahead and make it now. It generated this .uf2 file right here. So now all we have to do is hold the X button and turn the machine on. And we'll open this up and drag the file over. And there you have it. So that about wraps up episode 23 of my journey in game programming. Please like and subscribe and leave any comments or suggestions you may have that could make these a better experience. Next episode, I will be showing a port of Invader to the Pocket Arcade from Tiny Circuits, the same company that makes the Thummy the device that I showed in the last episode, episode 22. Until then, bye. I'll talk to you next time.